The Canon EOS R, one step toward the future. Hi, I'm Joel Grimes with the Joel Grimes Academy, and we're gonna talk about Canon's new EOS R, one step toward the future. Now, in my hands, I have this new camera, and it's uh, pretty amazing. Uh, but we're gonna talk about why it's so amazing, and we're gonna start with looking back a little bit at the history of uh, not just my life, but also Canon, because I started out in 1977, just graduated from college, our high school, and I worked uh, parking cars and busing tables at night, working at $3.25 an hour. I worked all summer to buy my first camera. And I was so excited, it was the Canon EF, and it was, uh, I think, their first automatic exposure camera. It wasn't too long after that, that Canon came out with the AE-1. You may know that name, you've ever heard it, it's been around, there's lots of cameras. The reason why there's lots of cameras is because Canon sold more AE-1s than all other cameras combined. It was crazy. Everyone had an AE-1. And they really changed the way we consumers looked at what we call a pro-consumer camera. So it's pretty serious and the interchangeable lenses and, and uh, it was a big deal. And so it was fun times. And I think you probably still can find a couple of Canon AE ones around and some students are still using them shooting film. But that changed the way photography was looked at and how uh, manufacturers looked at the marketplace. Back in uh, 1987, Canon came out with their new EOS EF lens mount. It was a, a change because you couldn't use the old Canon Bay bayonet mount lenses. So, oh boy, my goodness, was that a big step for Canon and they got a lot of grief for that at the time. But Canon had a vision and they took a bold step in making that uh, move and that was 31 years ago. And so they've been making EF lenses for 31 years and the reason why the EF mount was so amazing was it was a bigger hole, a bigger uh, diameter. That gave Canon engineers, the optic engineers, to create lenses that were on a completely different level than what they had before because they had a lot bigger mount. So Nikon did not do that. They kept their same mount and all the Nikon uh, people were, were happy, right? But that restricted what kind of lenses they could build for 31 years. So Canon saw the future, took the bold move, and we benefited from that. Today, Canon has taken a bold move and coming up with the RF mount. This is the future of where things are going. It is a mirrorless camera, yes, but it, it's not just the mirrorless that's exciting about this camera. It's the fact that we have a new lens mount. And so if you look at a cross section, Canon actually took me in a room. They showed me this camera. I was pretty excited. And within about 15 minutes, I said, this is not about the camera. It's about the lenses. And they said, you got it right. It is a, a pretty amazing camera, but it's about the future of where lenses are going. So let me explain really quick what that means. So number one, the lenses are designed so that the elements and the optics are, the weight is on the back side. If you look at the EF, a cutout of an EF lens or typical single lens reflex uh, lens today that's, that's put on a mirrored camera, the bulk of the glass sits in the front and so that makes it a kind of top heavy. The future is that we're going to have lenses that have the, the weight shifted toward the body. That's great news. But more importantly is that we now have the ability to create lenses with less aberration. This is a optical engineer's dream to be able to create a lens that has elements that go, instead of going all these elements that have to go up and down, bending light and whatever, and then get back to the, your film plane or your sensor, uh, well now it's a, more of a straight shot. It's a clean uh, cutaway. It's pretty amazing. So it's the mount and the ability to create lenses that have a faster aperture. And so Canon released the new 28 to 70 F2 zoom lens. So here's what I'm gonna tell you. This is what one of the engineers told me, and I'm not sure how to put this, but the fact is that a zoom lens on the, the RF mount will outperform a prime lens on an EF mount, meaning that the jump is that significant in terms of optical quality. I'm all about optical quality. I always say, get the lenses. That's, you buy the, you put your money into lenses. That's the key because uh, bodies come and go, but lenses you can have for years. And so I love beautiful glass. So that's what the news is about. So I think we've got maybe a little bit of confusion on the internet here. Everyone's been talking about, well, it's missing the one button on the back of the camera. And you know, Canon didn't make a giant leap. Yes, they did. They made a giant leap in the mount. So that's the news, folks. Get that and you'll understand what this is all about. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that little bell. And then of course, you're always caught up with all my current content.